Uh, Kimmy, let, let's start with you. Which quarterback are you most likely to target at his current average draft position? Ooh, I've got all eyes on Ryan Tannehill, which I feel like is not super surprising because there's been a lot of hype for him uh, this offseason. Now, in most drafts, uh, Ryan Tannehill is coming off boards around the eighth round, but I actually did a mock draft the other day where he was taken in the seventh. So people are reaching and getting him, which is no surprise because he's averaging just shy of 22 fantasy points per game and his 26 starts as a starter for the Tennessee Titans. Now, he gets to add Julio Jones to his mixed bag of offensive weapons alongside A.J. Brown, making it nearly impossible to not get the ball off to one of those two stud wideouts or even his running back, Derrick Henry. So I've got eye, all eyes on Ryan Tannehill and think this could be a huge season for him. Y'all, I get to talk about Matthew Stafford and be excited about it. Last season as a Lion, <laughs> he ranked 16th in terms of total fantasy points, 22 if you're looking at his per game average. But this season, he's going to be my quarterback of choice. Again, he's being targeted in the eighth round. I'm sorry, W H A A A A A A A. That's ridiculously low for a guy who's going to have to pass the ball a lot. This is a known and, and really well-established deep passer. And they're having some questions at the running back position. Matthew Stafford is going to light it up. I'm so excited to be able to play with him. And be he's here. I mean, it's all, it's all good for this poor Lions fan who, you know, at least now I can cheer for Matthew Stafford. <laughs> right? Cynthia Freeland has been freed to enjoy Matthew Stafford in 2021. Just another reason to look ahead to this season. To me, uh, it screams Jalen Hurts at his current ADP if if I can get him, he's currently going in the 12th round on average on NFL.com leagues. I'd absolutely love to get Mahomes or build my team around Lamar or Kyler, but it's just too rich for my blood when I can hypothetically, fingers crossed, get a season of Jalen Hurts at this value. I'd take him in the 10th round, which means somebody else would probably snag him in the 9th. After the nine touchdowns he accounted for at the end of 2020, I would love to get Jalen Hurts.